Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at the in-place modeling uh, specifically an in-place family within the project environment. So what is an in-place family? It is a family that you are building on the fly within the context of the project uh, for a specific use within just that project. It wouldn't be a family that you build and put it on your server and use it in other projects. For an example, I have here Revit 2016 open. <clears throat> I have a wall with a custom opening and how I made that opening just by the way is selecting that wall and editing its profile and just creating a opening using the spline command here. Okay. Once I've done this, I've made my opening. So the in-place family that I would like to build <clears throat> is say a piece of trim that goes around the front edge here of this opening that follows the contour. How do we do this? We head over to the Architecture tab, go over to Component, click Model in Place. We specify what category this belongs to for the purposes of scheduling. So let's say Casework. We'll give it a name. We'll call it uh, Fancy Trim. We'll hit OK. And then what happens now is that your project environment temporarily goes into the Family Editor environment. And we can actually use the Boolean operations to help us build this trim that we want. What we're looking for is a sweep because it's nothing more than a profile that is uh, that is uh, swept along a nonlinear path. So I'll click sweep and I'll pick the path that I want to because I already have the edges that I need. Now that I have the path defined, I hit the green check mark to finish the completion and the creation of the path. Now I can either um, <clears throat> pick a different uh, preloaded profile that I want to work with, for example, a fascia edge, and you can see how it's going to be placed. Or you can load a profile if you need to. It'll open up this window, head over to profiles, and then find what uh, profile you want to work with. So let's just say hypothetically we go on a metal decking and we pick something like roof deck. And if we do that, now that that's loaded, we can scroll down and pick a roof deck material that we want to work with. And you can also change the positioning in X and Y. So let's say I say, let's say I move it two inches in the positive X, um, and then I move it, say, four inches in the positive Y. And what you'll see is it gets shifted. Okay. Um, you can also flip it, by the way, <clears throat> and you can also specify an angle, and you can see how it gets adjusted. Now, instead of doing that. Uh, we can also scroll back up, choose by sketch, and we can just click Edit Profile and draw our own profile that we'd like. So I'm going to head over to the East Elevation so I can see this a little easier. And I can draw the custom uh, trim that I want to work with. Like that. And then when you're all set and finished creating that profile, you hit the green check mark to finish the creation of the profile. I'll go over to 3D view so you can see it. I'll hit the green check mark for the creation of the sweep. And if it can't make it, it's because either your sketch that you're making is too sharp for, say, for example, this corner here, or um, you're just creating a profile that just doesn't work. So I'm going to uh, cancel this for now. And then we're going to do it again. So we head over to uh, Architecture tab, Component, Model in Place, Casework, and give it a name. We'll head over here. We'll hit Sweep, pick the path, finish it, click our, select our profile. So let's say I just do a circular profile for now, something like that. And for the, let's do this. Let's head over to East Elevation. And let's draw some lines that go from here to here to here. 
and we will split this circle and we'll make sure that this is touching something like that let's head over to 3d view finish the creation of the sweep uh, profile and then click finish to create that sweep and there you go so that's how you can create a custom in place family um, for your Revit model and uh, in this context it's just a fancy trim that goes around a custom opening. Click finish model and you finish the creation of the in place family. That's it. That's what an in place family is and how to make one. Thank you very much for watching my screencast and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.